Okay, well, I thought I would post a kind of a quick little follow-up video and address a question that arose on the channel uh, with regard to the Champion uh, aluminum radiator. This is a radiator which I've I've mentioned a couple times on the channel. Uh, on recently on one of my videos, uh, a user had mentioned that they they had uh, a leak with the radiator and had contacted Champion and, and was informed that the, the radiator is not designed to be used with, uh, you know, the, the coolant that Toyota prescribes. Uh, I, I contacted both Leadfoot Racing, which is the primary distributor for Champion radiators. I uh, spoke with George over there. Uh, also contacted, uh, Valvoline and spoke to them regarding their uh, Zurich uh, Asian vehicle coolant, which is what I'm running here in my radiator. Now, I I like the Champion radiator. Um, I did have a little leak at the at the lower corner. Um, they uh, they were kind enough to warranty the radiator. In speaking with George this afternoon, you know, I, I asked him some, some questions regarding the, the coolant issue, you know, not, I mean, obviously you have a, uh, you're selling an aluminum radiator designed for a Toyota, but then, you know, don't use the coolant that Toyota, you know, asked for in their car. So I'm not, by no means am I an expert when it comes to coolants, but, um, uh, Mostly, most coolants are glycol based. Uh, they have different additives. They have different acids. If you research what's known as OAT or HOAT, which is O-A-T or H-O-A-T, you'll see that they have hy hybrid organic acids and stuff. Uh, some of that stuff can be corrosive to aluminum, and I think that's what what Champion is concerned about. So they recommend like using the old school green coolant. Uh, whereas with Toyota, they have more of a pink or a red coolant. Uh, you know, with, with regard to my specific installation here, I have about three and a half years on this Champion radiator. And if you've seen my other videos, I'm a big fan of Champion. They make a really good product. Yes, I, there was a little leak at the bottom, but in speaking with Champion uh, recently, they said that that's more of a function not of their radiator or the aluminum, but of the flexing in the Toyota, Toyota chassis. And as you can see, the radiator is bolted directly to the frame. Now, perhaps using some sort of rubber standoffs could, could be beneficial. I don't know. Uh, I think based on what Champion said, it's not just a problem limited to our pickup truck, but also later Tacomas and Toyota and stuff. So, you know, I, I think radiators in general, no matter what you have, aluminum or, or brass, they have a pretty hard life, particularly if they're bolted directly to the frame. So that's something to consider uh, when it comes to your radiator. Now, I have had very good luck with this radiator. And um, I like that it's aluminum. It does a phenomenal job cooling. Um, I have almost 21,000 miles on the coolant that's in the radiator currently. I'll put a link to the specific coolant I use, but it's, it's the Valvoline Zurich Asian Vehicle Pink Coolant. And let's take a look here open this up obviously the car is cool you don't want to do this when the, when the car is hot um, and you can see let me let me see if I can grab my flashlight here so if we're, if we're able to kind of look down in here and I don't know if I'll be able to really get this on camera you can see there's some discoloration of the aluminum sure but there's no sediment that I can see um, I put a little chopstick down in there and and there's nothing loose even though it looks like there's a little bit of you know kind of orange matter there that's that's just a discoloration of the aluminum uh, as I say I've had you can kind of see there 
Now, if I drain the fluid out, um, that might be an aluminum color. I don't know. Uh, the fluid is pink, of course. But uh, in speaking with with uh, Valvoline regarding the specific coolant I'm running here, which is the Zurich Asian, and again, I'll put a link to, to the specific coolant I'm using uh, in my truck, and I've had very good luck with it. I have no, no problems with the cooling system. Other than I did have a little, at the corner there, I had a little weeping, but it, it seems to have resolved itself. Uh, it was it was very minor. Um, but in speaking with, with Valvoline, uh, they said that their specific red Asian vehicle coolant has a phosphate additive, and that's specifically there to help protect uh, corrosion in, in in aluminum cooling systems and radiators. So I think that probably, you know, and I, I don't want to speak for for Champion or, or Lead Foot Racing, uh, they're just their main distributor. But I think probably the phosphate additive is a chemical additive on the Hote coolant, which is there to, you know, mitigate concerns with regard to corrosive uh, chemical reactions with the aluminum. So all I can say is three and a half years, uh, over 20,000 miles, and the coolant that I have in, in my truck is still going strong. I, you know, it's always right there at the halfway mark, depending on the temperature of the overall cooling system. Uh, don't have any, haven't had any problems. Uh, the radiator's been holding up real, real good. Um, and so, just kind of wanted to put put out some information uh, to to clarify kind of, you know, some of the confusion about, well, why does Champion offer a radiator an aluminum radiator for our vehicle, but then turn around and say, don't use the coolant that Toyota recommends. Well, the coolant that Toyota recommends is a little different than the coolant, for example, that uh, Valvoline. I think Valvoline has an additional additive, which allows it to be, uh, provide some protection to the radiator, but also be compatible with Toyota. So again, I'll put the link to kind of the article that talks about this from from champion I'll, I'll put the link to uh you know where you can purchase this specific radiator i have other videos on the channel which discuss the radiator uh during installation and so forth and i'll also put a direct link to amazon where i buy the, the zurich coolant which i i've had good luck with it i haven't had any I, I don't see any evidence of corrosion in the radiator. Again, I'm not an expert, but I, I just wanted to pass along kind of my personal experience and some of the information I've been able to glean from speaking with both Champion uh, as well as Valvoline. Okay, I hope the video is helpful. Um, if you, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to use the section below, and we'll you know try to address any questions that come up, and uh, I will. As I run the truck and the radiator, uh, I will continue to kind of provide updates periodically. I, I'll probably uh, flush the coolant out in another couple years, maybe around the five year, 30,000 mile mark. But for now, everything's been going strong and really, really love the radiator and uh, appreciate the guys over at uh, Champion and, and Lead Foot Racing kind of, you know, taking the time to address issues, address concerns. And uh, again, if, if, if anyone has any specific comments on anything, feel free to use the section below. And thanks for watching.